Welcome to the Mental Edge. As men, we pledge to live on the edge to discuss all things we love about being men with an infectious transparency that's laced with just the right amount of man humor. If you're on a journey to self-development and improvement, if you're a seeker of truth or want to find fulfillment and purpose while crafting a brave and successful version of what God has for you, then the mental edge is for you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Step back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, how we, that's how we figure stuff out around here, Jerry. That one turned off. I don't understand the technology behind this at all. At all. In the world of the world, by technology. Yeah, really? Not, not a thing you guys are talking about. to believe. Oh, no, no. It's the truth. I mean, I've been in these situations and setups, but I don't understand it. Yeah, you're... That's like being in a relationship and not knowing what the hell is going on. Well, I didn't see that coming. What the hell is going on? Yeah! <laughs> That's what this is like. It is? I've been in them, but I don't know what's going on. So. Oh. <laughs> is this a prop, this guitar pick? I like this. It's yours, Jerry. I, uh, it's from my, my show when I opened for... Uh, Zeppelin? Oh, 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 oh. No, Jerry, don't need to know. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> when you met Robert Plant, that was right. <laughs> and he loved your riff. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, memory. the listener's getting tidbits of a really witty conversation that happened in the kitchen. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that, we, right. Mm -hmm. that happened before the, before we got in yeah. here. This is the anticlimactic part. This is yes. the, the aftershock. It'll be in my next book, Jerry. It'll be all about the celebrities that I've met. <laughs> Robert Plant. Yes. <laughs> Jerry Davich, just so you know... So let me just tell you, uh, and, we'll, and we'll fire this up here because this conversation is going to be great. Because anytime yep. I talk to you, it's great. And Jerry. you you invited me on your show at one point with oh, I Karen, remember. and, and your guys' chemistry was incredible. That was, we was, enjoyed having. Yeah, you, you were guys. Who, were who, amazing. who was it with? You had he invited me on his show. I'm, I'm forgive me for the name. Jerry it was called was Casual Fridays. Say it again, Jerry. Casual Fridays. I like it. It was at Lakeshore Public Radio, and Jay was a guest. Yeah, okay. Man. Missy came too, I believe. My beautiful wife came, and she filmed, and that helped. Yep. Make me famous amongst my friends, which is all that matters. You know? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? I like the Steel that. dude who writes beautiful songs. Oh, and, yeah. Right? That, that's exactly. I, I can't remember how you captured it, but it was perfect. And But the but I'm going to tell you something. All of that was super nice, Jerry. But the nicest thing you did to me was when you complimented me about my email. Oh. You, you told me, Jay, I like the way you wrote your email to me because you asked oh. me to explain my story. Yeah. And that made a huge impact on me. When you said that to me, that made me like, because I don't have a lot of male figures in my life that have been like, hey, you're pretty good at this. Interesting. So that made, that actually made a huge impact on me. It's weird to me in life, Jerry, how like parallel benefits come from things that you're doing. Parallel right? benefits. Yeah. I like, love that. They, they run along, like I'm there to play guitar. Yeah. But then something you said to me probably meant more than me even playing guitar. Right. That's, that's, oh, I totally understand that. I like that. Yeah. A woman contacted me. Um, a couple of days ago about her mom she had to put her in a nursing home she's 95 years old the woman is 67 she wrote this prose to me it reminded me of your email it was just beautiful oh, and wow. she didn't even try to write it beautifully <laughs> she was just pouring her heart and pouring her feelings oh, out oh wow and she sent me this and I got back with her just like an hour ago on the way here yeah. and I said your words are like poetry it's powerful stuff people will resonate with this wow and she was Taken aback because you know, pe people don't say that people, yeah. she hasn't heard that but it's and the then truth. you're and then you're a resource for, for that to come from just anybody, like... I guess, but how often do we... Are we a complimentary culture anyway? We're really uh, not. We're not. Not enough anyway. We're not, not enough Jerry, complimentary. Like, just in general. That's so true. And then so the no, thing that I was going to tell you was... And it just makes me laugh because I can still picture my wife saying it. I, I said, hey, miss, you know, Junior and I are reaching out to important people yeah. that we think will be... We would just love to have on the mental edge. And I mentioned your name a few months ago. And you know what you said to me? Don't. <laughs> No, no, I did. And she said, well, you're reaching kind of high, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, oh, isn't that awesome? She that's said that. And I said, that's yeah, funny. that's what we're doing. We're going for that. We're going for the people. Glory. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and, and Junior, I believe, 
was the initiator of some conversation yeah, with thank you. you. And you're probably like, who in the world is this guy? <laughs> well, we've never met him. Yeah, no. no. But but like I said, Jay turned me on. He put, you know, I was he, he, he said, hey, this guy is great. I was looking at your stuff. I think I started following you. I saw, you know, beautiful pictures of you and, and your fiance. And I'm like, I like this guy. I came back and I, I told uh, Jay, I think this guy would be great for the show. We should... Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for and, that. Yeah. 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 And of course. Thanks, thanks for the hospitality. Yeah. I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Jared, do you get, do you get recognized a lot? Uh, how do you quantify a lot? I mean, you know, like <laughs> we haven't been, rec- well, he, Junior's been recognized one time since we started doing this. So Good. Yeah. you being the author of many books, uh, thou- I don't know, thousands of columns. Yeah. Thousands. Thousands 25 of columns. Years. So that in itself is thousands of connections. Yeah. Just even yeah. if it was an individual column about an individual person, but it's not always, right? Sometimes it's about a corporate uh, group of people. So True. Or polarizing issues that piss people off. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So I, I think you do that well. <laughs> yeah. Now, how do you define I don't want to take over. I'm sorry. Fernando, please no, chime no, in. Go ahead, buddy. I'm, so I'm, I'm enjoying this right now. Right away, yeah. you, you jumped into something that I think that one of the reasons why... I told Fernando you're on my radar was because I like how you address really, really, really tough topics and it entices really, 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 really nasty comments, but you never attack back. You'll engage, but it's always pretty classy, Jerry, despite there's some really angry people, Jerry. My God. With what we call digital balls. We, we oh, say that, yeah. right? Yeah. Keyboard that warriors kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Look at me. Yeah right. yeah, right. You know, and you're not that type of guy. You'll show up. Hey, I got an idea. How about we meet at the park and I hit the dislike button on your face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. right here, you know. And uh, yeah. Well, people know how to find me. That is for so, sure. So, <laughs> yeah, I think you've made yourself yeah. widely available. Yeah. But so how do you do that without, because clearly, Jerry, you are always expressing how you feel. So it's easy to stir the pot and not really be blatantly on one side. You're you're pretty obviously leaning one particular direction, but not offended by the other direction, which is plaguing us right now. Yeah, right. No, I, I'm not offended that, at all. That, I, I, I encourage it. I welcome, I wish I had more people who opposed my opinions uh, be on my social media sites and mm-hmm. could articulate and share their thoughts without causing a fight. Yeah. Or... Um, angering somebody or doing it on purpose. I, yeah. I love that back and forth. I really enjoy the engagement of it. Mm. So mostly, Jay, I think it's uh, apathy. I I have apathy that runs pretty deep in my life. And I think that just kind of is like a shield because mm. I just generally, unless I really value, like I value Jay, I, I really value you. No, oh, thank you. I'm meeting you, yeah. Fernando. So, But I value you. So because I value you, I value your opinions. So if you were one of those people yeah. who attacked me on social media and either called out me or said names, yeah. you could say libtard or anything anything <laughs> sure, you want sure, sure. any phrase you want doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum then it would matter a lot more to me but because yeah. i don't know a lot of these people right. how much do I, should i value just a generic person uh-huh. i don't know and because i don't put that value on these generic people it doesn't really affect me too much wow so that's uh, i think partly imp- also i want to keep the conversation going i want to foster this dialogue so for me to just be pot shotting people, and I do yeah. it generally, like about issues and things. Sure. But not individually. I don't call people out. Oh, yeah. I, I unless agree. Unless they call me I out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's I game do. on. That's then it's it, game that's on. That's the monkey bars. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Not really. I can't do that like you would do that. But, oh, I don't know. I think you'd be all right. But I, but I think that's why, Jay. I that's, mean, that's I, if I could super. foster that, and, and I don't want to lose that. Huh. So you're right. I could put, a lot of people say I will um, either cause a fire and run away. I've been told that. I could I plug my finger into an electrical socket. And everybody else gets electrified, and I don't feel a thing. I mean, I've been told that. You know, kind yeah. of people joke. With That's me. pretty creative, I suppose. That's what I thought so too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, yeah. But a lot of it's just the dialogue. I really, really like a good dialogue and a debate. And even if you completely diametrically oppose my views, yeah. and I'm sure you do, Fernando. Pick okay. a subject, and we'll find something here <laughs> in the next few minutes. I don't mind at all. Yeah. And you could dissect it and debate me and put me in my place. I love it. I, I mean, like I really I like, that happened a little bit before this started, and I was like, ah, oh, this is really interesting because you didn't quite see eye to eye on something with us, but the way you brought it about was so like beautiful classy. and classy. And I'm recall, like, I don't that generous that. respect. So, so because of that, yeah, I totally That's gained so my cool respect in the kitchen. And then I just wanted to ask real quick: so yeah. is this something that was practiced in your house when you were 
growing wow, up. Good no, question. we had a no? hostile house. Hostile. Hostile, right? Yeah, my so, dad My dad was very outspoken, passionate, cussed yeah. a lot, uh, a very opinionated, uh, macho guy, that yeah. kind of thing. And I was raised with that in my whole family, especially my yeah. dad's side of the family. A lot of arguing. Every holiday devolved into just an argument. <laughs> And a lot of yelling usually. Well, so I mean, that could that, that's that could help create your craft. Oh, I see. That's what I meant by that. Yeah, yeah. You, maybe, you know what I mean. Yeah. I think all these experiences, yeah. as with you guys too, kind right. of created our craft of who we yeah. are yeah. and who we want to be. So sometimes I lose the fact. Maybe you guys do too. Who we are professionally versus personally. Yeah. Ha, and, I, and I don't know. That's good, man. And I don't know where that person <clears throat> is because yeah. sometimes my public image. You asked how often am I recognized, and it's mm -hmm. pretty consistently. I, I would. But that's would much so. different than my personal. Like personally, yeah. I'm like this caveman. I'm like a Howard Hughes type. <laughs> I'm in a cave. Like don't right. bug me. I don't mm -hmm. want to talk to anybody today. Yeah. But professionally, I can't do that. Yeah. Yes. When I get somebody either notices wow. me in public, yeah. whether they like it or not, I'm, I always have to be this other person. Yeah. This, this wow. manufactured persona that I've had to kind of. But it is part of who you are. It is part of who I am, but it's not who I am. Right. Naturally. Like, naturally. Your, like your default state yeah, my, de is more my, introverted. My default state would never say yes to being on this podcast. Wow. I'd be so intimidated by yeah. it and so shy. That's I'd crazy. go, whoa, whoa, no, no, look, yeah. there's lights, yeah. there's so microphones. So that's a, that's a little confusing, it's intimidating. Jeremy, Jerry, to like people who would automatically assume that yeah, you're always the life of the party. People always assume that I love this and I, I'm, I, I engage mm -hmm. it and I want it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's good for my job and it's part of career oriented, but personally and privately... I'm really shy. I'm really quiet. I'm the observer. That's how I get along. That's how I, I think, craft all these stories and viewpoints that you mentioned to me mm -hmm. is because I'm just an observer. I'm not in the middle of the room. Mm, you're a keen observer, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on a soapbox. I'm yeah. back in the corner in the shade just taking notes. Mm. That's all I've been doing for like 40 years of my life at least. <laughs> I just yeah. happen to do it for a living now. Yeah, when you describe that, I kind of describe my own life because as an artist and... You know, a lot of people see what I do, my work, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I always, I always describe it as like a carpet where everything's like interwoven. My life and who I am personally, and then that's a good who everyone that. sees. So I, I, I feel, I feel you when you said that. I'm like, wow, that was beautifully said. But yeah, mm. for I'm you, you should view yeah. yourself as a mosaic on a wall. <laughs> people are walking on you; they're admiring you. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. You know, and they're I piecing together this patchwork of stuff see? that you put together. Yeah. yeah. So wow, that's, that's pretty nice. Huh? I think it's it the truth. Is. That's what they're viewing. I'm a mojaic. He's a mosaic. I'm mojaic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're a mojaic. <laughs> He's a mojaic. Oh, I'm in that oh, one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're that one over there. <laughs> that's so cool, man. Yeah. And Jerry, that's what you do. You seem to put things together like... Uh, you know, you beautifully piece together something for a junior, and he's an artist, and he never can. And he, the word mosaic is basically in his back pocket, yeah. and you pulled it out. He's never thought of it that way. Yeah. And I see you doing that in your in your writing. And I told you in in the little the little thing that I sent you. First of all, no one's ever sent us a better bio. Like I like to do yeah. my own research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like. I was scrolling my phone. I'm like, oh, is this stop. gonna? This is so I cool. Told, I told my when I after I read the bio, I'm like, this guy's lived the life of three men. Yeah, <laughs> like he yeah. does. He okay. doesn't Do you, stop. It so was awesome. Were you gonna sleep this year, Jerry, or when were you planning on taking a nap? I just wanted you guys to know because I don't know if you guys like know. No, me at that's all, so, so good. No, it was no good. we appreciated no, who, that. Who and I, I realized, I realized, I read a lot. Of, like, what was it here? The better wellness. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. I get that magazine. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, oh, yeah. but like I get some of these things and I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah. this guy is. Oh, I forgot about around. that. Yeah. So do you feel like, is that, so since you're more introverted, yeah. I guess it's never really offended you. Like you're so good at what you do, Jerry. Like I can imagine, you know, a person who's a little more like maybe pretentious or conceited would be like, well, don't you know who I am? I mean, I've basically been sewing into your lives literally yeah, for 40 years and, and making this place, you know, better. It's never offended you that someone stands next to you and doesn't say, hey, Jerry Davidge. Oh my God, no. I can't. <laughs> what kind of attitude? Would that be terrible? Uh, what kind of douche would I be with that? No, yeah. no. I mean, well, they exist, I don't, Jerry. I don't, <laughs> Those people I, exist. I can't, you know, not only do I not think like that, I can't think like that. I think it's because my age is a big factor. Mm. Okay. Because I'm, I'm almost 59. You're seasoned man. And I'm not like 19 or 29 where I'm going to buy into my own illusions of grandeur. Mm. Okay. I can't Ooh. do that anymore. Mm. I mean... I mean, come yeah. on, really? You look in a mirror, and I see exactly who I am. Yeah. So no, I don't see that at all. I, if anything, I'm the one always asking, and I like asking these people these kind of questions. I mean, okay. at, maybe I'm the fourteenth question. I'll go, "Who are you anyway?" <laughs> <laughs> hey man, are why are you asking me about these questions? You know, yeah. why are you asking me these questions? Then yeah. I like to probe it even deeper. Like mm -hmm. you guys, 
I know you want to have me on. Thank you again for having yeah. me here at all and yeah. asking me questions. And you're peeling the onion. You're trying mm-hmm. to find out things, yeah. right? Yeah. You're going to probe deeper however you want. You can start off with these lob ball, softball questions. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite color, Jerry? You know, yeah. next thing yeah. you know, what's your view on abortion rights? You know, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 Bam, whoa. we got it. Mike, <laughs> lock the door. <laughs> I knew it was a trap. No, yeah. But I mean, so when I talk with people, I usually start off with those kind of questions just because it's part of my craft and part of who I am. Yeah. Like, how are you? How long have you been married? Like you said, you're, yeah. mm-hmm. you've been with uh, your fiance for two years. I said, yeah. congratulations. And I meant it because relationships are the hardest thing next to child yeah. rearing in the yeah. world. Amen. Work is, come on, we could all make a buck somehow, yeah, right? Sure. And, but in raising kids is extremely difficult. But being in a relationship and keeping it going, and whether it's two years, two months, for yeah. me, it's 11 yeah. years. Karen, how long for you, Jay? Missing? Oh, man, 2004. So, I mean, and then we dated two years before we got married. That's so Almost really, 20 years. Almost 20 years. Yeah, so that's, that's awesome. an amazing thing. I ain't been, I ain't tired of it yet. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't <laughs> like every minute of it, man. <laughs> You're like Jerry. Yeah, he's yeah. like Jerry. Jerry, I have a rule in my house. What's I don't that? have a lot, by the way. And that is that... And, and pretty much everyone who knows us know this. Yeah. And I have no problem. We, we're we blessed right now. We're teaching like this church married class, you know? <laughs> we're asked, we're like, okay, yeah. highly unqualified, but whatever, man. <laughs> right. Making it flawfully, okay, whatever you want to call it. But the rule is that there are no pajama pants in my bed. That's right. Your homeboy Jay Wizzle made a stance on those pajama pants. <laughs> it she is has to not a lot. I'm allowed. like, babe, listen. Think about it. There's all of these rules I could be trying to lay down. This is for both of us, honey. <laughs> this is a mutual benefit. There is yeah, yeah. something about. When did she buy into this? A year two, year month two, year she, 20? I think it was never hard for her because I think, you know, because I think that, like, you know, it bugs me, Jerry. I see, like, there's a lot of women poking fun at their husbands wanting them so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. It kind of bugs me. There's like a little bit of this. Yeah. There's a little bit of this persona painted even in Hollywood. And I laugh too. I laugh, guys, that the guy is always on the couch incapable. Of doing and his anything. wife yeah. is just, I'll it's make like it work. Everybody yeah. loves Raymond kind of scenario. Exactly. Yeah. He's the guy, he's the schmo. The woman yeah. does everything else. And, and somehow yeah. she picks up the pieces for him every yeah. time. And he looks like a, like, yeah. a, like, like, like a she's just, guy. you know, like compromising and just, it's, she's going to do her best. Right. And make it count. And right. So I, I, I feel like I've really not pressed that persona on Missy. And it's been like, there's been a, a pretty good co-appreciation of each other. So when I said, babe, I just, I love your warm legs. She's been cool with it. Yeah, That's the way to <laughs> go with that It's never been line. hard, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I just got to have my hand on that bumper. That's my thing. <laughs> and you're good. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. No matter which way you sleep. Weird thing happened when Ryder kind of slept with me. He's like, dad, I'm not mom. <laughs> I'm like, and you said, And you said, where's your pajama box? Yeah. <laughs> where's yes, your sir? pajama? <laughs> Don't you know? Oh, That's yeah. rule number two in the house. <laughs> Men wear the pants. Yeah. For different where's reasons. Where's your pajamas? Right? Good That's stuff, funny, man. Jerry. That's good a stuff. good rule, Jay. Yeah, thank you. Jerry, are you a region guy? Are you from this area? Born and raised in Gary. Yeah? Yeah, right. And then I moved to Portage, uh, like when I was 18, with my family. And then I lived there for like 25, 30 years. And now I live in Valpo after I met Karen. She wow. kind of she pulled you. She pulled me to Valpo. Yeah, right. high school. Exactly. Did you go to Word? Word High School. Yeah, Word High School. Uh, Word. So you Ward. were in the, in the Miller, middle Etna, all yeah. those areas, right? Yeah, there? I was in the uh, the other side of the tracks, the okay. dark side of the tracks, the, dark side. the poor side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> when right, you yeah. think Miller and Lakeside and Lakefront yeah. Homes and all that, that's yeah. not me at all. That I was more wow. Glen Ryan subdivision, right okay. by the U.S. Steel Mill entrance, right across from Etna, yeah. twelve and twenty. Yep, that's yep. where I was born and raised. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, all the Gary schools and Word School. Yeah. Which I didn't, and you know, I told you before, I maybe you know, I didn't graduate from Gary from work. I mean, oh, please tell the story. Because yeah, we want to hear this. It's funny because he told Jerry, he, he kind of so touched many. it. Yeah, yeah he I, touched on it, but I didn't get the whole story, so I, I'm ready to hear. I didn't see that captured in a lot of places. It's funny because I I don't know why I was nab, naturally drawn toward this happened. I, I found this months ago. I was naturally drawn toward an article that, I mean, there we could read about you in Time Magazine. Okay, I'm just being honest. There's a, it's possible. But there was this Northwest Indiana Life article or something. I can't remember what it was. And it talked about you going to college and kind of, I felt like you got pulled out of class like, Mr. Davich, you're not qualified to be here. <laughs> yeah, I expected to be busted. <laughs> and because you said you felt like... Your diploma felt different than your friends. <laughs> yeah, it felt and looked different. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't graduate high school. You until, didn't know until commencement night. Well, I didn't oh, see that coming until commencement night. I didn't know. I, I'm 
all through um, high school, we had a family business. My family did. Okay. It was called Uncle's Catering. And mm-hmm. okay. I started in 1978. That's when I started wow. the business. So uh, I was working in the business. And because I worked in a business and I worked so many hours, like 100 hours a week at the time, yeah. uh, I had to have an, a note from my employer saying that I, I can go to half half a day of school yeah. for my junior and senior years, yeah. which I did. So I thought I did the math right. And I'm not a math guy, obviously, for now. <laughs> I'm a words guy. I did not do the carry math the right. One. I did not carry the one. Right. And I missed the math, and I, I was a quarter of a credit short than I needed. But I didn't know this, or yeah. I didn't care about it, because okay. back then I was really apathetic. You think I'm yeah. apathetic now? <laughs> Just imagine a teenage. Right. And I didn't know this. So yeah, at, at commencement night, uh, we were at Westside High School, because work didn't have an auditorium back okay. in the day. And, uh, and yeah, I sat down and I, Jerry Davich's name, and you go across, you shake the hand, you sit down. I opened up the, my diploma and there was nothing there. It was blank. <sighs> so I look over to the guy next to me, his name is Mike Davis, yeah. Davich Davis, and I go, Mike, show me your diploma. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> is yours blank too, Mike? Oh. And he opened it up and it was a real diploma. It was signed, it was stamped, it was everything. Wow. And that was the oh, moment I realized man. that they I let didn't you graduate walk. high school. They let you walk. They let me walk, but I didn't know. Gotcha. So I didn't. I was working in, yeah. in the business, and I didn't care to be honest. So I yeah. let years go by, uh, almost ten years, and mm. then at once upon, I was in my like existential thirties, as I call it, yeah. reading a lot of Jean Paul Sartre and Dostoevsky and that okay. kind of stuff. Mm. And I go, I wonder if I should take some college classes. That's or not. so cool, though. And yeah. I go, I wonder if I did that. And they said, Oh, you need a diploma to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need, <laughs> I need a diploma to get into college. To That's take some crazy. So I had to get a GED. So ten sure. years after I was supposed wow. to graduate, nineteen ninety. I went and got a GED so I could go to get some classes at Purdue North Central, which is in West. I can't believe what wow. a, what that that catalyst, how that changed your. Oh yeah. Well, you know what it did in the in the in the only in hindsight do I know this, Fernando, was that it put a chip on my shoulder. It put mm. a chip that is still there. The chip has never left. It's Love still this. there. And the spirit of it is. Yeah. The spirit of it is that it motivated me to get off my ass, try I harder. Love it. And, and although, although I didn't have a diploma, I don't have a college degree, right. I didn't have the accolades, I don't have certifications, yeah. Yeah. I didn't have all that stuff, the chip on my shoulder has still never left, and it really drove me to get a GED, go, um, take some classes at college, and that's when I wrote that first column that I wrote, Kurt yeah. Cobain's Death, yes, yes. Um, which really started I couldn't find that. Career. Is it in an archive? How could Somewhere, I? yeah. I can yeah. Say it, it was but I'm super sure it's hard. horrible. <laughs> that's okay, Jerry. It's okay. I love I the inception of things. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's true. That, that, yeah. that is what the happens. The origin so, stories are awesome. That's just one of Fernando's favorite uh, terms is the origin story. Oh, yeah. the origin story. I never yeah. thought of it like that. Yeah. I think I asked that a lot. I've yeah. never phrased it that way in those yeah. two words, though. It's a comic book kind of thing, right? Yeah. Right? Is it? Yeah, if you have, uh, you know... Spider-Man, how Spider-Man becomes Spider-Man is the best movie, right? right. And how Wolverine become Wolverine is the best <laughs> right. movie. Everything else how is you mean. became who you are is the best part. Yeah. And a lot of, and the people that are privileged to see that, you know, your family maybe. Are you, mm-hmm. are you brothers and sisters? I don't uh, know. Yeah, my brother yeah. is deceased. Okay. Uh, almost 10 years and my okay. sister is two years older than me. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you, wait, are you middle? Oh. I, was the, I was the baby, yeah. You're the baby? You're the, baby? the youngest, okay. yeah. 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 So, so because of, like, you know, the, they got to see that or maybe they were privilege to watch that but we didn't you know i i'm real big into trying to capture that moment it's interesting yeah. i love that idea. and that's what how this podcast manifested right because i wanted to capture jay's book i love yeah that. so that's exactly <laughs> what yeah. happened yeah. origin story yeah i love mine i look for that and i look for moments of crisis as a writer oh. wow that's, that's the phrase i look for is what was yeah. your moment of crisis? now i don't ask that i've never asked that question to anybody Okay. But I've extracted that question after an hour of interview. Yeah. It'll come out. Your moment wow. of crisis will come out. And then I look for complication resolution. Yeah. So as a writer, I'm always thinking, what's the complication to this person's life? Mm-hmm. Wow. And what's the resolution? Okay. My complication was I didn't, maybe that note, that, yeah. that day when I did, I have lots of complications. Yes. <laughs> I've screwed up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like my only screw up and everything's great after that. Yeah. It's not like that at no, all. That was it, a harbinger yeah. for many screw ups. Right. Mm. But it was that moment of crisis for me. Right. And it was that complication resolution that I've been working on all my life. And I'm still working on the resolution. Mm. Right. You you do believe in progression uh, in your profession like you're still getting better as a writer jerry no i worry about that um sometimes i'll read older columns of mine and i'll get uh, intimidated mm. and i'll go i think i'm losing a step or maybe i no way. or have a different no no or have a different style because yeah. i oh. i've been through progressions as a writer at one progression i was like this minimalist okay uh, and i would write everything short and sweet and narrative only not very wordy not very flowery it'd be right to the oh. point jay spoke into a microphone it's not that jay leaned back took a long drag from a cigarette and dragged it you yeah know, it was just it was wow. just like this yeah. and during that phase i think my writing was crisper and maybe sharper and sometimes I'll read my oldest stuff and I'll go, man, I got to get back to that. But then 
I've developed, as we all have, this voice yeah. as a writer. <laughs> that's that's right. Yeah, that's and just... my voice comes through and I go, shut up. And I can't turn off my voice and it's hard to change your no. voice. It's like asking you guys to talk like somebody else right now. Right. Yeah. You could do it for a little bit. Sure, But Jerry. can you do it for a thousand word column no. five days a week? No. no. And I neither can no I. No way. So then I have a problem trying to find this voice of mine. <laughs> and who is my voice? Then I, I critique myself. What is my voice? Well, you're going down a rabbit hole, right? That's <laughs> my point every time. That's so cool though, Jerry, because I... When I was talking to you about your your uh, your style that I like, the portion that I like, uh, Chris, I'm not really able to go back really far, super, super, super far. You can go back pretty far. But I like the way that you describe things because I like the fact that those things, the way you describe things, it paints a picture for people. Yeah. So it draws them in emotionally. They get invested. Yeah. And they almost feel like they're in the moment and they're being voyeuristic. That's my goal. Yeah, that's my goal cool. is to put someone at a spot, not tell them to go to the spot. Oh yeah, that's right. that's the you trick. Invited them, yeah, you invite I, them. It's I not do. even harsh. It's yeah. so. Like, and if you notice, if you notice a theme in my columns, and most people don't ask this, but there's a narrative lead. I like having a narrative lead with my column. I like putting someone at a certain spot, even if they're only there for three seconds, and then I go to a bigger issue. Like, mm. what was this woman feeling after she, after she got an abortion? That's, right. my, that's my lead. And then the, ish, the whole column's on abortion. Right. But I don't, and then I go back to the end and I'll say this is how she felt this way. But wow. it's a narrative lead to put somebody, because I've noticed, and it dates back eons, that back in the olden days, we would talk around a campfire, yeah. right? And yeah. we would share stories, just share oral stories. That's all it was. Yeah. Now we're sitting around this ember, this glow of a computer, oh. still telling stories. Yeah. It's the same glow. But we're, 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 we're still sitting around so this is, forum. Jared. It is. And all we're doing is sharing stories of our life in different ways. And if I could do that just with words and paint this picture, that's my goal. But sometimes I get my own way mm-hmm. and I notice myself. <laughs> I do. The writer will get too smart in me and it'll just take away from the story. Because yeah. all of us lean in. If you've ever been to like a public lecture or even if your meetings and somebody's just blabbering on. But as soon as they go, and there I was. It was a Tuesday evening. Doom, the story. Preachers do it all the time. Exactly. Good preachers do it all the yeah. time. Exactly. And people will, people. Li- they will literally lean in. Because you're going like this, you're going, eh, whatever. And then they go, it was a Tuesday night and it was dark outside and my wife wasn't home. And they're going, <laughs> and, you could, and you could watch them. So they're already you, trying to piece it all together. Yeah, and yes, if you just yeah. sit back and watch people, you will see them literally lean into the storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I try to do. I want people to lean into my stuff. Just yeah. lean in yeah. just a little bit. Just give me an ear. Turn your head. He's, he's doing wonder. it to me right now. Like He's mm-hmm. talking and I'm like almost sitting next to him. <laughs> all right, yeah. go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's what we want to do as storytellers. And that's all it is. I mean, sometimes but I think that I get in the way of myself is my yeah. point. And I get mad at myself. And then I say, just shut up. I tell myself to shut up a lot. Yeah. Because like, just shut up. I just want to go back. Be- I had That's to- so good. Me, that was me writing... Uh, mm-hmm. In my phone, I had to take notes because, like, I'm like, I'm not going to remember this. I know, I know. He's we taking do that. me everywhere. We get angry. Yeah, yeah. We get so angry. We forget. What I wanted to say about, you know, people love authenticity in writing. So when you say, when you said, you know, you have these different styles, yeah. right? Yeah. People just love authenticity, open book, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah. That's what people are really engaged with, and I think that maybe that's why the writing connects, right? Because yeah. it's you. I hope you're not. Yeah, huh. you, you said you found your voice or whatever, right? Yeah. Um, the chip on your shoulder. I wanted to say this huh. is with two things: chip on your shoulder and nicknames. Sometimes, huh. if you call someone, let's say the nickname is not like you know, it kind of if makes you feel bad, right? Yeah. But the guy who's getting called that uses it as fuel. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So you know, the chip on your shoulder was the fuel oh, that continued to yes. to make you. You know, to take you to that next level. Yeah, it was right? necessary. And it was, yeah, it was, it was necessary. necessary evil. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes, and sometimes, like nicknames are like that. You yeah, know? where if 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 you call someone, I don't know, you know, like maybe maybe you know this guy has no like nothing about this guy is athletic. But they call him like this super athletic yeah. name. Oh, right. right? Hondo. Yeah. yeah. And then he's hey, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The so irony of that. The irony yeah. of that, right? And a lot of what happens is, though, a lot of people, use, not a lot, but there are people that use that to fuel, and then there mm-hmm. are people that believe it. Right? Oh, I see. With every, every, everything in their body believes it. And, it, you know, if we're made of what, 70 billion, you know, organisms right and you're telling every single one of those every organs, cell in your every body, cell in your body <laughs> yeah. that you are this this entity yeah, yeah or a loser or whatever you know they start believing that yeah and depression sets it you know i i really believe that like you took at a moment yeah. in your life and you were like whoa 
wait a second. Yeah. I'm not that. You used your chip. Uh, you used oh, your used chip, chip to take yeah. it to the next level, which, man, I get goosebumps just like yeah, listening me to your too. story. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. Like, Jerry, this, we, what a great story. I don't want it just to be about me and Fernando, but we have I a do. special connection. But I want to tell you something. <laughs> well, you, you triggered a, a memory to me when you said I had a chip on my shoulder. First of all, the region... Best chip on the shoulder. We, I oh love region people. Yeah, yeah. It's I a love. We start movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Like when we go to Indianapolis and people are like, well, you know, we stay the night with her. They're like, you want to start a movie at eleven o'clock at night and get up at four a.m. Like, yeah, that's how we live, <laughs> right? But right. one of the greatest speeches anyone's ever delivered to me. At, we we came from a really poor neighborhood in Lake Station, and we had a very successful football team. It was unheard of. Right, yeah. but River Forest, the opposing team had the same exact thing going on. At it was crazy. Time, there was this yeah. nucleus of very like poor yet athletic and driven young men huh. and they were being led by some very good uh mentors yeah so mr kincaid who yeah. was our receiver coach yep. he pulls us aside and we have a pregame talk <laughs> and at this point we had proven ourselves but there was this team coming from porter county yeah so he cornered us bum, bum, bum. Yes, yeah. exactly, Cue right? Music. He just did it. He just he did just, what you yeah, just talked about. Dum, dum, he's doing dum, it again. Oh, it's <laughs> exactly right. So he, he gathers us, and we always had this pre, pre-game talk. And he said to us, he said, guess what happens today, fellas? He said, those pretty boys from Porter County come over here, and the chip on your shoulder counts tonight. That's why you're different. Uh, he's like, in other words, he's like, guess who's paying for your free lunch tonight? Right. You're going to cash it out of their rear end. Right. And guess what the score was when the game was over? 52 to nothing. Get out. Yeah. And that to me, like the chip on the shoulder, wow, not only like knowing that it was your fuel, yeah. knowing like, oh, like this adversity in my life, it mattered for me tonight. Yeah. yeah. That's a beautiful one. That, you got and to you, cash that in. You're yes. talking, Jerry, about yeah. like you're downstairs talking about how you've learned. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then guys that don't learn. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't. Maybe it was the victory that helped me learn quickly, but like that's what we're doing here all the time, Jerry. That's why you're here. We, we love when people are like right in there, maybe what God meant for them to do. Right. Okay. Right. And it's really clear cool. when people read your work that yeah. you, you're very purposeful and you're meant to do this. Yes. I feel the same way. I'm glad you feel that way. I feel way. the same way. I do, so without cool. a doubt. There's a conundrum between that chip on the shoulder and somebody's glory days and how they rectify the two. And I always wonder about that because a lot of us, and us mm-hmm. being men especially, right. well, women too, they live in their glory days. Yeah. And yeah. they have a hard time leaving those glory days. Sure. But the upside <laughs> with mine is I never had glory days. I've never had... <laughs> I never had a 52 to nothing victory of anything. Karen, Karen would be my 52 to nothing victory. There she is. So she my sure glory is. days is right now. These are my glory days. That's cool. absolutely brilliant. Cool, yeah. So having that attitude, I don't. I can't look back on, boy, back when I played football. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never played I never did anything. But yeah. that's a trap, right? Because let me ask you a question, Jerry, and Fernando, please jump in. Oh, I'm what coming, if I'm that was your you. only glory day? I mean, do you realize that yeah. you like the, some people's I I mountaintops... Or when they're seventeen, I know yeah. that. I see that. Yeah, I, I would. That. I would pick peaking in my fifties over peaking now. I know in my forties. Oh, that was a fleeting moment of my life. I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad that wasn't my mountaintop. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's exciting that you're still progressing. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think people who peaked, let's say, let's say they peaked in their teenage years, just hypothetically, you could pick yeah. any. You probably mm-hmm. image. You probably picture somebody in your head right now. Mm-hmm. We're right. not even saying absolutely. Names. You could picture. Somebody. Amen. Okay, so you're. <laughs> So you're picturing that <laughs> person simple. in your head, right? And But I don't know if they know that they peaked in their glory days, and I don't know if they're in denial at this point or if they're just still coasting on swag, and they're mm. still <clears throat> coasting on whatever fumes they have left, and it could be the, the <laughs> thinnest of fumes, yeah, the fumes, but they still have fumes. They walk into a bar, they still think they have what they had when they were 17 yeah. or 27 or 37. And I think that conundrum, I don't think they reconcile it in their head. So for you to, for us to even mention it, either one, they're not recognizing it, or two, they're in denial about it, or three, they're going... <laughs> Screw all of you. You know, I'm still. Yeah, this is working for me. I'm still Johnny Jock and I'm the coolest guy around. Yeah. You know? so that's what I thought. I, I, that's I, some I, deep stuff, huh, Fernando? Yeah. I, I like watching s- that yeah. in action. I want to say that also bravery. You said you said that you you maybe never had the glory or the 52 to zero no. or anything like that. No. But what you do have that I think kind of takes you. A lot of people. Okay. I'm only going to speak creatively because I'm a creative, right? Yeah. So how do I gain more creativity? Right. Sometimes I'm afraid to like. I have one in the chamber. I have like that design in the chamber. Right. 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 And it's it, man. And I'm afraid. Right here. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid to pull the trigger because I feel like, well, 
I might not have another great idea like this again or oh, another I great see. design wow. or right. Oh. But when I when I pull the trigger, right. I realize that when I empty that cup, yeah. right, another one starts it filling it up. Of course right? it does, because you're so creative. Those are all glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah all right, those are all wins for you, and you're brave because you kept pulling that trigger thousands of times, man. You pulled that trigger. How many yeah. columns did you write for 25 yeah, years? Yeah. You kept yeah. pulling Books, that trigger. Books, columns, yeah. Books, columns, yeah. So my point is, is like, it might not seem like you, you, you didn't have. Come those. on, yeah, you're selling yourself short, right, Junior? Yeah, yeah. But you had thousands of them. You're right. You didn't have one. You had thousands, and that was it's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. Just like Thank just to hear that, that, yeah. Junior, that that's really cool that you say that because Junior's talked about a moment. He, in his career, and I, th- I think it very re- relevant or relates very much so. And I mean, you, yeah. he's relevant, very much relates to yours. Is he has a moment of reveal all the time, right? Because he's so his turnover rate, like like people are calling him. He's like, okay, he develops it and he hands it over, and he right. loves that moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a sweet moment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a sweet moment. It's a sweet moment. Yeah. But but he's almost. Like he's also like, yeah, this is great. Hi, I got, I got to move on to another one. <laughs> yeah, he's, you do. He's, he's, he's like, he's like yeah. he says it's huge for them, but he's like, yeah, I, okay. Yeah. By the way, I've yeah. got three more yeah. doing an hour. Next, yeah, right. Yeah. I used to, I used to celebrate those moments and yeah. then i found myself completely wore out right so like let's say i had three reveals right, right. three logo reveals right and yeah. i've celebrated just as hard for each one right at the end of the day i'd go home and i'm asleep by 7 30 because i'm like completely gassed so now like it might not seem like i'm excited for certain things but i'm super excited it's just yeah you tempered a little bit yes i've tempered over yeah, the years so, you know? yeah, so. and get, go i do on that to the too. next one yeah it's, do it's, you? A, it's it's tricky though because i don't want to be so tempered where i'm uh, comatose yeah and sometimes i appear that way because i like for instance like when, when i'm just drop for me man that yeah. was awesome go ahead mouse, mouse drop? drop that's one of our things like, oh, oh oh sorry you're something spitting, great you're spitting, which yeah, yeah go ahead oh, okay, Wait, i would have dropped more but you'll break my mouth yeah yeah but that's that. how we feel mm-hmm. though right yeah yeah i forgot what i was talking about fernando sorry oh that's all right that's man. okay your it, mouse it, your mouse drop caught yeah 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 well i'm sure it'll circle back yeah yeah it'll circle back um one of the other things i was going to ask you jerry is okay so Let's be honest. Wait, You're... first off, when anybody says, can I be honest with you? I'm thinking, what else would you be? <laughs> and second off, when they go, let's be honest, I'm going, what else would I be? Like, what yeah, else would right? you be? What else That's would I so be? That's so good, right? And I think of that every time somebody says that to me. Mm-hmm. You usually see somebody polished. I'm going, yeah. oh, geez, they're going to give me some polished crap. It's funny. So. Yeah, that's it. No, so this isn't polished, but I have to. You know what I like? Let's do this, Jay. Let's do yeah. it. Let's be, Ooh, let's be raw and candid. It's raw and candid. Because honest is just kind of a, a okay. polished line. But to be raw, it's hard to be raw. It's like being intimate, it's being vulnerable, it's being honest about things. Oh, that, by the way, an interview with Jerry Dan- Davich, raw and candid. Raw and That's candid. done. Thank you for the yeah. thumbnail, Jerry. Put that in. Yep, raw and candid. <laughs> okay. But, but that is, a, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's clickbait, clickbait, yeah. right? No, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. So let's be honest. No, I'm just yeah. no, I'm no, teasing. Right. I'm teasing. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. And I love raw and candid. And I think that. I think that the listeners, Jerry, they, they appreciate more than anything. Yeah. So candidly, I wonder, okay, on a personal level, has it, do, does your ability to communicate in your personal relationships, is it as seamless as it is for you to communicate literarily to people you don't know? Because you're always working with somebody, you're establishing a relationship, pulling a story out of them, right. and then and then sending it to people that you have a relationship with, whether you know it or not. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But like having a conversation with your son, can you, are you able to almost use your skill to make a great point with them? That's a great point. That's a great question, Jay. It's yeah. a great insight. I've never really thought of it that way. Um, I would like to think I can, it might be easier the other way around though. Like I could probably convey a thought to a few thousand people, mm. maybe easier um, mm. than I can to one or two. Uh, okay. So maybe it becomes a stumbling block for me, and yeah. I don't know where the uh, the juncture of those two people yeah. are in my head. Sometimes right. I really don't know where that intersection is. I don't That's know. a great question. Yeah, and I relate it to. I've I've noticed that if I'm playing for 150 people, yeah, or or if I'm lucky enough to play for a thousand, yeah, it's easier. It's easier. But if I'm in this room with you two, and I'm like, hey, guys, I want you to hear my new song. <laughs> <laughs> like the more intimate something is, sometimes yeah. it's more difficult. No matter how your public persona, it does has yeah. come across. It ramps everything up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. like ramping it down ramps it up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is. Ugh. I think Chris used the word. That's a dichotomy, and yeah. I had to go look that word up after he yeah. used it. Now and I'm like, he's smarter than me too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's just interesting to me, Jerry, because I wondered when you talked about your relationship with 
with Karen. And uh, I liked, because I do feel like, so I get to train people at work and I do love when I notice that they're not blinking because I've, you know, what I mean is they're not, too, well, when you're training in, in an industrial environment, blinking means, yeah, oh, I right? see blinking. Okay. So then if you're able to keep their attention, is there something even in your vocal communication skill that harkens back to the way that you write? Interesting. I don't think so. I've never liked my voice uh, physically. Mm-hmm. I like my literary voice, but yeah, I don't I love like this podcast then, but I don't like my <laughs> physical advice at all. And every time, cause I record everything. I'm recording us right now, by the way. So okay. everything, everything I talk, any conversation I have with somebody, I usually record it. No matter That's what great. it is, it's a doctor's office visit, yeah. somebody just chatting. If I overhear yeah. something, I just, I could just snippets of life that I can't yeah. conjure up cause my memory is poor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel I have it captured here. Even if I get like, um, story of or origin story yeah. in Fernando. It's here somewhere. I may forget that, but this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's so good. So I need to record these little mm-hmm. snippets for that reason. What was the question you asked me? <laughs> Sorry, oh, Jay. So so basically, I was asking if that skill that you that's clearly you you tell a story. Can you also explain something to your children? Oh, I see. In a I way that it's so too. digestible, yeah. you make this point that maybe nobody else could have made to them. Uh-huh. Like it rings true with them. I would just like to think so. And I, maybe not your kids, because it's always weird with your kids. Plus, they're older. Because my well, my two kids are in their mid thirties now. Yeah. Karen's kids are 29, mm-hmm. 21 and nineteen, so they're kind of older. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'd like to feel like I have that, even with somebody else. And I feel that way, um, like with with Karen, for instance, and, and other adults. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I could not wait for kids to grow up just for that reason, because I want to have a conversation. With you want to have a real conversation that doesn't have the Easter Bunny in it. Exactly. And yeah. I want to have it now. So I've always waited for the for mm-hmm. that for that kind of moment to have. Wow. That with kids. Yeah, I love that. I've had a couple. Of, my, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Because the world, you have to be on Like I had to tell my daughter, I, Jesus, forgive me, Lord. But one time I, I had to tell my daughter, I'm like, okay, all of those guys that talk to you, yeah, I want you to know something. They've pictured you naked. <laughs> yeah. Even, okay? even your best. So I'm just, I'm just trying to help you <laughs> right. here understand when I downstairs, when I said, if you want to know how a wolf thinks, just ask a wolf. Yeah. yeah. Right. right? And, I, and I wish it wasn't like that. And believe me. Good men can purpose themselves to not do this, right, true. but their first natural inclination isn't yeah. to be your friend. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're, right. we're very right. primal, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No pajama, no pajama bottoms. No pajama <laughs> pants in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's awesome, man. So you you write a lot. Do you do you read any specific? Uh, content. No, and I don't. Who do you... I don't read enough, Fernando. No. I just do not read enough. You'd think that I would. Very read, interesting. You think yeah. I'd be very kind of well read and all that, and I don't think I am. I don't think I read. I read newspapers, obviously, because I need to, the news. Yeah. I need to saturate myself mm-hmm. with news yeah. a lot, so I read three to four newspapers and magazines, a day. Magazines that you kind do. Of magazines you're saying. That's awesome. But and generally that, speaking, no, I don't pull up the old literary classics and go, yeah. you know, let's see Dickens. What's he saying? Or, yeah. or, or I wish uh, I did. Or like. Um, like a inspirational book, nothing like that, Jerry. No, I like uh, autobiographies a lot. I'm really drawn to people because yeah. they're origin stories. Yeah. I want to know how they turn. <laughs> yeah. really good. I'm going to use it all the time. Yeah. I'm going to totally yeah. steal that. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Credit to Fernando. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's I'm always fascinated by how people become who they become. Like, yeah. how do I know them? Why would I pick up a book on yeah. this guy? And if mm-hmm. I did pick up a book on this guy or this woman, how did they become that person? Yeah, yeah. because they started like yeah. anybody else would. And so I always yeah. wonder how they got there. So even if it's if, if it's in film, you still like it. Anything, You're yeah, like, yeah. Of I'm, like, I'm like that. That's funny because mm-hmm. in my in my profession, I don't I don't read a lot, but I'll man, I'll 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 destroy magazines and you know yeah. articles and like, that's because you yeah. absorb, yeah, you absorb everything. YouTube probably videos because, and because you guys like are creative. That, yeah. Both of you guys are creative yeah. because you're creative. Trying. You're absorbing mm-hmm. things. Yeah. So what you want to do is like a sponge. I view myself as a sponge. I soap it up, sop yeah. it up, mm-hmm. sop heavy, yeah. heavy. And then I squeeze it, and yeah. out it comes in columns or stories or posts. Yeah. Or, and you guys do the same. You do it in music. Yeah. You do it in visuals. Yeah. You're a mosaic all over yeah. the place. <laughs> yeah. This guy. And that's what you guys do, though. Yeah. You, know, you, yes, you, sir. you sponge it up, and then you get it out. That's, yeah. that's the Whatever joy. our medium is, right? Exactly. It does yeah. not matter what the medium is. So right. podcast, not too popular for you? or Popular in what way? Do you, do you listen li- to them? Yeah. Oh, do I listen to them? No. no. Uh, I do. But I only select. I mean, I listened yeah. to you guys when you guys reached out to me. Yeah, I listened you. to Thank several. you very much. And yeah. it was like two in the morning. <laughs> oh, no, no. I listened to all of yours late at night because I'm a yeah. late night yeah. person. I, yeah. finished my, I finished my writing around midnight. Wow. Okay. So, and then I, you know, then everything's done. It's mm-hmm. all quiet in the house. And then I yeah. plugged it in. So I heard the, the last, what, four or five. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. And I just listened to it. I don't, have to, I don't have to watch it. Did you go to the early ones at all? The early no, stuff that we The earliest about? was 
what, how early, how far back are you talking about? I don't know. There's like Jerry. There's it's all it's overwhelming. Really? Like we've got like 65 episodes. Yeah, it's crazy. So I didn't know if it was no. some of the earlier. So no, more, I don't think I did that. So really, you're actually you're actually in the heart of our voice because we've yeah. in over a little over a year. We sort of started out and like just plugging things in, and there yeah. was a there was a big bed here. I think you heard us tell yeah, Chris, yeah. and right. and we were just like, uh, and <laughs> yeah. I I would look back, and there would like there's no there's almost no edits in these, very rare now. Yeah, there would I would make eighty five cuts yeah. in a forty five minute podcast in the early ones, you mean? Yes. So, but now we're in this interviews are, like people who are passionate. They're easy, Jerry. Yeah, it, they just whoosh. it should be seamless and flow yeah. organically. Yeah. That's or you, or you got be. the wrong guy in the seat. Maybe yeah. so. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> and we don't have the wrong guy in the seat. No. Well, no. You guys usually no. don't yeah. because yeah. It's, it's, right. it's really painful when you have the wrong guy in the seat metaphorically, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. you try to not interview but even converse with somebody, right. and you keep hitting roadblocks or dead ends, or they yeah. go somewhere else, or they will pivot. A lot of yeah. people will pivot, and I'll pivot professionally because if somebody's going on a rabbit hole. Yeah. And I have a limited amount of time, and I need to get yes. something done for this comp. I'll have to pivot them gently. Remember, we were talking about you know that. Yeah. But if you have somebody who won't pivot with you, then what do you do then, Jay? If you have somebody in this seat, then yeah, it's, it's difficult. Then you have all those edits. Yeah. Then you have all that stuff. And for a while, Jerry, it was just us yep. talking about man skills and things that we want. You know, the growth for men. You know, right. And so that's what the whole first season was, right? Yeah. And then it's part of the second season, and then Fernando was like, "We got to get people in these seats," and oh, it's been great since then. It's been amazing. I so. admire the premise, by the way. You oh, guys thank doing you. this and putting it out there because it's a subject we don't. You don't usually go to a bar. Yeah. I'll take a draft <laughs> and let's talk about intimate subject about manhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're right. so it's so easy to avoid that conversation because we have sports, we have gaming, we have yes, yeah. we have women to talk about, but not really talk about you know yeah. in, in a positive mm. fashion. So we, because we have all those alternatives, this is like number nine or 12 or 27 on the list of things <laughs> to talk about. So for you to have yeah. a forum to amplify this and portray this, yeah. kudos to you both for doing it. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. It's Thank the you truth. Because yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of rare. Who's our secret? Who is our secret demographic? Oh, Junior. The females. The females like listen yeah. on, they stop us and tell us that they yeah. listen that, to us. That is excellent, isn't it's it? It's absolutely you love that? awesome. Yeah. It's absolutely awesome. We pitched awesome. it as a men only Thing. Which seemed to work right away. Yeah. <laughs> right. It did, right? As soon as they're like, first. what? Yeah. Let me ask you a question, Jerry. And, yeah. and whatever, no. he's, got something in the, he's got something in the chamber he wants to ask you. In the chamber. But, yeah, so, so let's, just, let's just paint a picture here. Sure. Okay? So we're sitting, uh, you're sitting next to Karen. Okay. And she, you look over, she's reading something. Okay. And you go, what are you reading? She goes, oh, it's, it's only for women. The guy's going to say, oh, okay, babe, let me know when you're done. Oh, uh, if we flip the script yeah. and I and I'm reading something mm-hmm. and I say, <laughs> Dave, this isn't for you. This right. is only this is only for men. <laughs> for guys. It's literally impossible yeah, on right. a mass scale. Yeah. 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 Most of the time. So we found that we've had doctor female doctors, like ladies, yeah. like incredible women, which basically I love women, so mm-hmm. they're all incredible to me. They've raised me. So <laughs> they but have raised you. It's mm-hmm. just so cool when they say, Hey man. You know, I'll bet. I'm trying to get my husband to listen to you guys. Right. <laughs> it's my favorite thing, right? I've, I've had I've had one send me a message and say, hey, any way you can talk to my husband about what you just talked oh, about? Oh, my so God. Guess, Funny, I'm just right? like, I was just like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it, it's, it's been super interesting, the journey. And um, I love meeting new people. And so this is a great mm-hmm. way to kind of, you know. Yeah. And I love meeting new men that are that are like there's a there's. There's certain character traits or things that we kind of we are attracted to, and I feel like when someone comes on the radar, and I'm, you know, we're we're studying about them or we're looking at what they're doing, some of those things, you know, like you you hustle, you know, what you're I mean? hustling, yeah. you're you're, you're doing we call it. you grinder, yeah, you're grinding, you're doing you, a lot of things that you're you're doing kind of go along with what we tell guys, hey, this is what we're supposed to be doing, fellas. Like you mentioned um, earlier about uh, how how men are, are treat women or the, the love that you have for Karen, right? Right. And how that how you um, manifest that, but there's others that don't. Do you remember yeah, saying yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that? Yeah. 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 Portray it. 
portray yes, it. Yeah, portray it, right. yeah, yeah, yeah portray it. Either yeah. they're shy or reluctant, or they feel yeah. it's not their place, or yeah. they, they're just mm-hmm. uncomfortable with it. Which there's is a fine. barrier. Yeah, yeah, right. There's a barrier, which is just fine. I totally mm-hmm. understand. Yeah, I mean, I I respect it. That's for sure. I think what you guys offer, we're gonna mm-hmm. circle back again to what yeah. you guys are doing, is that you're giving a peek behind the curtain. Okay. Uh, visit, yeah. You visualize the Wizard of Oz in a way, and you're kind of you're pulling back that curtain just a pinch to show women, especially your yeah. secret demographic, yeah. and guys like this is a peek behind the curtain that you normally don't get. Yeah, and I think that's what you're offering people. I think that's why women that's resonate. That's good, Jerry. Women Give me resonate there a little bit. Women mm-hmm. resonate with your words for I think for that reason. I think yeah, that's because why. we something we say and we said it in the book yeah. is that just because men don't talk a lot doesn't mean they're not thinking a lot. Yeah. In fact, like I I try I confess yeah. I catch myself stopping at green lights. Mm-hmm. I stop at green lights because my missy's my wife's like Jay you she's like I can see it I said well. It's better than running red lights. That's yeah. true. That's true. If it's one <laughs> or the know. other. So, and I know you're a deep thinker too. There's just no way you're not thinking all the time. Right. I guess. I don't know about deep though, but yeah, mm-hmm. I thinking. do think all the time. Your I mean, processor's running. I have a hard time turning it off. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a nothing box? Uh, a nothing box? What's a nothing box? Welcome to the nothing box. I would describe it as like, let's say sometimes, you know how you're staring off into something and maybe Karen says, hey, what are you thinking about? But you're really not really thinking about anything. You're just oh, in there. Oh, interesting. That, look, he's kind of got it like <laughs> Yeah, that. right now. <laughs> Fernando, I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah. I wish I cool. had the ability for that. I do not have that ability. No. I wish, I, I want to like, you know, I need to like drink. I don't drink. Um, yeah. I don't drink booze. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs of any kind. I don't. What, I wish I did because I <laughs> so need to because I, be a switch I, turn off for I need to I, I would be help, it would help me kind of find that yeah. nothing, bo- nothing, yeah, nothing zone, box nothing yeah. box it would yeah. help me find that I don't have that enough well only because mm. they say guys are comp- compartmentalized right. so I just said you know one a room with nothing in it right? oh, so yeah. you're just kind of you're there in the moment I feel like a lot of guys practice it right so you know maybe watching boob tube you're more in a something box right he's more 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 in a something box box. yeah Yeah, but what i strive for is that nothing box and i found that i find that nothing box and i don't know how much you guys circle back on this podcast to relationships i mean is Mm -hmm. is that okay we talk about relationships love love it that's one of our big things okay then i would find this nothing box would be in those moments um in my relationship with karen for Mm -hmm. instance it's that's when i find those moments that's why i cherish those moments because i can't find it on my own I can't find that. There's a science fiction novel mm. by Isaac Asimov, and um, I, I read it when I was younger. And the concept, and if you're an Isaac Asimov fan, I'm apologizing in advance, but the concept <laughs> was these three entities came together, and when they came together, and only when they came together, they became a god. Mm-hmm. It was okay. a godlike force. Yeah. And they can't do it separately. So it's like you, Jay. I mean, you got everything working for you. Your job, you're a great guy, you're a faithful Christian, you're all these things that you want to be. But I think without the misty component, yeah. you, you're missing a component. Amen. You're walking with a limp. Yeah. And you would feel that, and yeah. you wouldn't have that component. You wouldn't have that God force flowing through you as much as you have otherwise. Yeah. So that, for me, for me to be in this that moment, that moment for me is this nothing box. So I never thought of it as a nothing box. Yeah. Never heard the phrase before in my life, Fernando. Thank mm. you again. <laughs> but it's that those moments that I find that, and I need her to find those moments. Wow. Because I can't find them on my own. I'm yeah. wandering around with a, a dim flashlight in a cave and I got nothing. I can't find those moments. Yeah. But with her, we can conjure that up and those and that, and those moments are really important to me. That's beautiful. And yeah. easily accessible, aren't they? Easily Jerry? accessible. It's those simple wow, moments we talked awesome about is that? early. Is that when you saw us in Valparaiso, mm-hmm. we were sitting out at a, a picnic table probably having something. It was that moment. That's an organic, simple <laughs> moment yeah. that it meant nothing, but it mm-hmm. meant everything. Yeah. We were doing nothing important at all. But it was the most important Because I want to scream, I know him! He... He might, I mean, he might remember me, <laughs> and then I'm like, wow, like I, I recognize. It's a funny moment. you, you were having a moment. moment, and I recognized it, you and did. I'm like, eh. You can tell you know? when someone's having a moment. You could just, mm-hmm. you could just feel it. You sense it. You respect it. Yeah. You yeah. know. Otherwise, you see people and they're just looking for moments. They're like looking for attention, looking for right, yeah. looking yeah. for notice me, engage with me, talk to me, something. You can see, especially guys, we have a swagger and we have our yeah. ego, and we're looking for yeah. our time. But you can see when a genuine, organic moment is happening, and it's like, whoa. Yeah, like Jay thought. Don't touch that moment. Yeah. Right? That's how you yeah. felt. Yeah, it's like it's like I love it when somebody sees someone pretty famous who's awesome, and they just they don't even ask for a selfie. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I me think too. to me that's the most courageous thing you can do is mm-hmm. they everybody tells them they're great all the time. Yeah. They, they, yeah, there's a whole other side. They might just want to be like just normal for a second. Yeah. Now I know that's not part of it because you 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 make money off of people's lives and they can yeah. your yeah. celebrityism is how you're marketable and that's. That's why they aren't afforded a lot of peace, but classy people 
will recognize that moment and let it be and just be like. And if you're really classy enough to recognize, not only recognize that moment, but you can capture that moment and go, I stood next to Michael Jordan or some other celebrity and I didn't say a word, but mm-hmm. I was in that moment with him, that airspace, we shared it just for a flash. And that was, that was my selfie. That was yeah, my, yeah, that's that, that was my oh, emotional great. selfie. That was my emotional selfie yeah. that I took with me, and I have it in my, you know, metaphoric yeah. phone yeah. in my back pocket. I think that's a great moment to have. Mm-hmm. I uh, when Jay sometimes mentions um, kind of relationships like a bank where you deposit, right? Oh, and then yeah. And then in the future, you can yeah you can take some you, you know, withdraw you withdraw you withdraw yeah. And uh, I feel like that's a great you know moment for you. When you're when you're constantly depositing into Karen and like you said you can withdraw and yeah. that, that makes it beautiful. For that you was guys. a phrase I used in my first book called Connections. It was called the four hundred one k of the soul. Ah, that's great. <laughs> that's what that was. It I was like, like could you make these emotional investments? Yeah. yeah some... What is that other book that you wrote? That's something about there's. It's actually like you turned a saying around. What? Oh, name, oh, was, please oh, name oh, oh it was Connections. Um, everyone happens for a reason. Everyone, everyone One happens, for a, reason, happens for, a reason. for a reason. Happens for a reason. Because I never liked the everything. It always, I was as being a cynic as mm-hmm. I am. I'm always questioning that, and I was going, everything happens for a reason, man. I've seen a lot of bad things go down, yeah. and then you really have to believe in God deeply yeah. to see a baby die at six month old, or mm-hmm. or a couple yeah. get killed in a murder scene, or whatever, and go, yeah. well, I guess God had a plan, you know. But yeah. me being a skeptic and cynical, I'm going, yeah. what is that plan? Yeah, yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. I mean, right. I you seem very tangible yeah, in that moment. Yeah, if you got a grand plan, that's great. You are God. I'm, you know, I'm not yeah, going to yeah, doubt yeah, yeah, it, yeah, but right, I have right, to right, wonder right. and question mm-hmm. about it. So instead of saying everything happens for a reason, I thought everyone happens for a reason because everyone really does happen for a reason in our life, whether it's good or bad. Yeah. You could have people in your life and you'll extract something maybe totally negative, but you're mm-hmm. going to go, I don't want to be like them. Yeah, right. that's the way it should be, a reason and not an excuse. Yeah. I agree, Jerry. And you can go, yeah. I don't want to do that. Yes. I'll use that as a template for how I do not want to be. Yeah. Or you could have somebody like a mentor. Like You guys yeah. probably feed off each other. Like You can talk, yeah. talk, talk, talk. Next thing you know, your conversation is climbing up to here. Yes. And you guys are both yes. up here so we're talking. Hoping for that's what the podcast seems to happen. Yes, sir. Exactly. So I think if we could capture that, and then we can understand it. So everyone in our in our orbit really yeah. happens for a reason. But you just have to find what the reason is. Yeah, yeah it doesn't do. have to be all positive, and we're all holding hands and no. singing. No. It could no. be. Like, it could be like, man, that guy came in my life for a reason. I got to yeah. learn something from him. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Something, yeah. You got to extract something from an experience. Yeah, so yeah. that's I the wanted, concept. I wanted to be a great dad because I didn't grow up with one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, right, 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 right. I get it. I didn't have a pops. I don't even know how that works. You yeah, know? I was raised by. Wonderful women, and right. they're, they're my heroes. Right. But I'm like, man, how do I become a, a good dad? Mm-hmm. So that makes sense to me. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, good stuff. I was gonna. Uh, I want to do the rapid fire questions. Yeah, let's with let's Jerry. first of all, Jerry. Uh, this conversation so far, man. I always tell people I think it was my favorite. Would you? But this yeah. this is probably, this is a Jerry. Great, this is probably my favorite. <laughs> Jerry, this is a great conversation. I'd love for you to come back one day, man. If you ever. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anytime yeah, would, you guys want me. You just, oh, you just, yeah, I'm, yeah, I saw you. I saw you on McDermott's podcast. I was jealous. That's when I told you. Man, we're gonna that's get what him, he man. told me. <laughs> we're gonna get him. I, that's what he I watched told you. Me. I'm 20 minutes away, Jay. You, yeah, you well, contact you. me. That I'll be here good. anytime in the thank future. Thank you so that's much, for sure. Jerry. Yeah. But Jerry, okay. Junior has some great, uh, like, hey, let's get to know Jerry. Yeah. It's the stuff that people start with usually. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah gotcha. So these are you we know, did it all backwards anyway. Yeah, we're back. When we use the term bass backward here. Oh, that's a lot. That's a thing. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, uh, he's he's good at coming up with like yeah what's your things. nickname jerry i'm gonna ask him before oh, yeah on. you know you mentioned yeah. nicknames earlier and i'm thinking to myself what? i don't have a nickname now come on man. Pa- no one said hey jerry bear come here or, no. or jerry so very no one's ever said come on jerry no it'd be parents when, school nothing no nah, maybe when i was a kid it was like you know jerry savage savage davage you know just, <laughs> just, savage just, davage is just, amazing dude that was just teenage awesome, boys man. teenage boys kind of savage. stuff yeah but oh. not as an adult i don't think yeah. any nickname nothing actually That's sticks. So i cool. mean unless you count my critics and haters who just yeah. give me all kinds of nicknames but you'll probably see them on social media easily <laughs> i guess that, that's not a nickname though right that's just a derogatory uh, slur there you go yeah, I, right. I know i know people like in my life i was like oh he knows me from back then because if he calls me junior yeah oh right I, sure. I grew up junior lopez so yeah, I didn't even know Fernando until college. You didn't so, meet him yet. Yeah, yeah I didn't right. even meet him yet. Yeah. So yeah, when 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 I hear somebody say, "Oh, Junior," or if I or somebody calls me and says, yeah. "Hey, uh, Junior," told me, or they told me to so and so told me that you know to call Junior. I'm like, oh, okay. Then yeah. you know. Yeah, that's this is somebody from way back. Yeah, with everything. So you know, 
I had, that's I had a black, good black friends and and Polak friends that spoke Spanish. That's a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, yeah, you know, the lines are blurry. Yeah, the lines a, are real that's blurry. That's a great background. Yeah. Man. So mm-hmm. you have like 12 nicknames, I'm assuming, Jay. Oh, like oh, yeah. the worst one was Jay Wagasi. I'm like, I like ladies, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, my. You I never like told women. me that one. I like them all. Like your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? To be honest with you, your girl's hot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway. No, yeah, like, whatever. I knew him as j right? And then yeah. and then uh, when we were on the podcast, someone said, hey, ask him if he's Wawa. Yeah. Oh. I was like, I think a Little League PA yeah. thing. So Jimmy then- Wawa Casey <laughs> at the plate. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Plus, you have the name that could turn anything into a, into a nickname. You just did Mojaic earlier. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of blue. Yeah. Like, oh, how does he do oh, that? Oh, that's his thing. Yeah. You he listen can turn to his name into oh, a nickname. Oh, yeah. You listen to the first 60 episodes, you hear like, oh, Big Kanye fan. It's crazy. <laughs> Big Kanye Off the fan. dome, baby. Off the dome. Oh, that's right, man. man. Yeah. Well, go, go ahead and hammer him. We're going to grill you now, Jerry. You're in trouble. All right. Uh, Turn all up right, the heat. All right. Yeah, this is, <laughs> all right. And some of these we've probably already answered, but it's all right. So, uh, do you binge on Netflix specials? And if so, do you have any that you want to share? Oh, yeah. We've been, we binge on Netflix a lot. I always wonder. You, you, it doesn't have to be. Oh, by the way, I got to preface. Perhaps he prefaces this so that no one yes, gets taken to jail. Yes. This is just today. Yeah. Tomorrow you can change your mind. Yeah, oh, like this okay. is a snapshot in time. Yes, yes. there you go. I do. Yeah, hey, we're snapshot still in, in that. time. I'm, st- I'm totally still in. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. snapshot in time. Okay. It tomorrow it can change. Right. It that this could be number three on the list. I don't These know. are not necessarily <laughs> the opinions of the Mental Age podcasters. Right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a disclaimer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 No. All right. Say it. All right. Slay so it. Netflix specials that you binge on. Uh, well, you know, usually I lean toward uh, Karen's preferences. To be honest, so mm-hmm. uh, we watch The Crown. Uh, anything because her mom is British. She's born in London, oh, so Karen has British the, uh, history. The it's the British hierarchy. Uh, okay, yeah, the yeah. Ro- royal family mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Oh, nice. So we watch British shows a lot. Okay, uh, we've watched a lot. I've watched a lot of murder whodunits. Uh, okay. Netflix is it's again it's those it's those nothing boxes again. It's all it is. I don't care because yes. the the show itself is usually just a vehicle to take me to a destination I can't find without that vehicle. Mm. So Netflix is just a vehicle for me. I don't really care too much about the content. The content is irrelevant because after the content's over, I'm not thinking that that that, that show, that show will linger. It's like popcorn. It'll taste good for a moment, but it doesn't sink in. It's the moment that satisfies my appetite. Wow. wow, and that's, that's deep. and that's, that's what, deep, and that's what Netflix does for me. So yeah. when I binge, I'm just binging on those moments to make me me feel better. I yeah. don't really care what's on the screen. That's, that's kind right. of secondary to me. Yeah. So wild. sorry, is that okay if I phrase it that way? No, it's perfect. I could have reeled off four or five titles, but this is how no, I no, feel. I like it because none, like none of that really matters. Yeah, so imagine, like you imagine, binge on Netflix. Yeah, I, I binge on those moments. <laughs> yeah, those Netflix moments. Is the vehicle. Netflix. Gener- yeah, there you go. I, that's perfect. Just imagine how many shows we've watched collectively, the three of us, in all of our lives, and how many do we remember? Not much, but remember the feeling. But we remember the feelings yeah you're right Jerry. Yeah. we remember the feelings and that's what's important <laughs> that's crazy so i binge on those feelings i Dang. love it man i could go on like so many rabbit holes just about yeah, right there. I love it. yeah all right uh last meal on earth what are you eating really pizza <laughs> no doubt pizza yeah. you always share he shares his food like on, on social media that. a lot okay. like, it's universal yeah. how can you critique food i know I mean, people I like. can criticize my viewpoints of politics yeah, lifestyle yeah, 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 habits yeah, yeah. but i like these gravy and biscuits yeah. it's going you're yeah, getting a photo right. yeah i know yeah, I love it's gonna that. be a deep dish sausage patty from ed de Bev- no from um, um melnati L- uh, luminati yeah. i was thinking of ed de Bevix and wets yeah. i had that recently yeah. yeah but yeah i was i was somewhere or this was that's cool years ago and uh we didn't know it was Illuminati's. We thought it was Illuminati's. Illuminati's. Oh so, yeah, so we get there That's and we're all, we're looking for the like the, the Illuminati symbol. symbol yeah, right? we're like, Illuminati's. So we're taking pictures of it. And I'm like, dude, it says Illuminati's, not Illuminati. That's the best story. <laughs> we're looking for Illuminati. Yeah. 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 Actually, I'll show we're you the picture. We're all throwing Illuminati. up. We're all Some throwing kind up. Kind of symbol. shadowy <laughs> existential pizza coming your way. <laughs> I love that. There was a, a shadow or what yeah. was it? Dark pizza on six. Mm. They didn't have a logo. Everything was black. You had to kind of go in through really? this yeah mm. you had to go to a black tent to get inside what? and yeah it was like mystery pizza yeah, yeah mm. it was crazy i remember that name do you remember yeah yeah, it was, mm. yeah that That's was okay funny. uh favorite dessert uh cake oh, oh cake? wait cinnabon i've had cinnabon. i've had hundreds of cinnabons in my life like okay. literally hundreds perfection I, I, if i just had the money back from that i can get a new <laughs> a new house or a car that i need oh, so all right i got a good one for cinnabon sorry i just this is funny I've convinced people that when you're di- I'm diabetic. When you're diabetic, cinnamon is like um, low index, right? Yeah, low so glycemic. Yeah, low glycemic index, right? So I've convinced them that I can eat cinnabons. 
So oh. everyone, <laughs> even the people who love you, are like, yeah. no, it's Cinnabon. He's it's okay. All right. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uncle Clarence. He's good. Have it. <laughs> He's clear. Yeah, he's clear. <laughs> That's All the right. truth, though. Yeah. Oh, are, <laughs> Cinnabons are the best. Yeah, yes. yeah good. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this for every question. I'm sorry. It's no, just it's the first few. All right. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh, invisible. Because wow. I want to see what people are talking about. <laughs> yeah. And, about, and especially about <laughs> me. Yeah. And especially about, about me. You. I want to know people are thinking are talking about me. So I know. So I know to either engage or avoid. Mm. Wow. Fight or flight. Yeah. So invisible. Oh, how about you? Superpower. <sighs> It's a la- it's a rapid fire lightning. Yeah, question. it would be um, like reading people's minds, kind of oh, almost lies within yeah. what he's talking about, right? Yeah, I know that's like, even think, better though. Yeah. Oh, that's something like that'd that. be that's powerful. pretty good. Yeah. All right. I just want to be tall. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a little bit taller, huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Easy answer. Right. Yeah. 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 Easy. Uh, the advice you would give your twelve year old self? Oh wow! Uh, don't hate yourself as much. Don't wow. hate yourself. Yeah, wow. don't hate yourself as much. Wow. It's easy to hate it's with deep. that age. When you're that age, it's easy oh, to hate yourself. Oh, especially that. Yeah. 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 That's, right. ooh, yeah. I, I forget, I forget yeah. how we thought when we were 12. You're yeah. right, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm 58. I still think that sometimes. So no, it's wow. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still learning that lesson. Yeah. Who, who was the kindest person to you? Oh, wow. Uh, that's In great, the moment. That's a great question, yeah. yeah. Um, besides, like, my mom, my daughter. Okay. Uh, my, yeah. And Karen. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee that. <laughs> there you go. I guarantee. It, it. I guarantee that right off the bat. It's a woman. Uh, wow. It, it'd be a. It'd be a. That's it's pretty a, it's deep. A, it's a tough choice. Happiest memory today. Uh, besides being right here in this moment with you guys. Hey, yeah. that was perfect. Because no, say less. Yeah, that was sure. awesome. <laughs> you heard it here on the Mental Edge podcast. Because <laughs> this is <laughs> truth. This is rare. I don't. I don't do this. This is a treat, and this I'm. Awesome. I'm very appreciative, it. and this is a cool moment to have. Thank you. Yeah. So let's go with this. We're All gonna right. capture that snapshot in time right here. All right. Most influential person in your life. Um, I guess it's too cliche to say like your mother. Is that, no, uh, it's very I mean, common. Huge. No. It's very. She's been very obviously yeah. influential. Still yeah. is mm-hmm. obviously. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Hmm. What's something that you know that no one knows about you? Mm. Oh, everyone's gonna know if you answer it. Yeah. Um, well, uh, that I have a, um, a a very dark side and a vicious temper. You have a vicious temper. I have wow. a vicious temper and a very dark side. Yeah. Wow. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of dark thoughts. That's the reason I don't get tattoos. <laughs> I'm attracted to all the bad stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. be covered in the bad stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. That's, yeah. a, that's a permanent reminder of that yeah. moment. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't erase that yeah. too easily. That can't really be something people don't know about, though. You know what I mean, Junior? After you t- tattoo it on your body, yeah, they know now. Know. Unless you hide, they know it. now. Yeah. yeah, but Thug, I don't. Yeah. Thug life. Thug life. <laughs> By Junior. Yeah. <laughs> By Junior. I love this guy. Uh, can you do any impressions? Uh, you seem like you no. could. I hope this yeah. is our first really? one. Yeah, you ne- totally there, seem like you could. It can be lame. It's okay. Yeah. I can't think We're, of any. No we voices? Are, we are like, batting a can you, thousand. Really? We, yeah. No one has gotten mm. this one. I don't think so. Because no. nothing comes to mind. I'm sure. I, actually, I'm so sure I can, but I can't think of it. So I will get cool. back with you on that. I'm round two. A yeah. route too, where yeah. we get you back yes, in here. I promise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I promise. I will. Um, funniest thing you've read about yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that I uh, care deeply about humanity. And you laugh. Yeah. You chuckle a little bit, right, Jerry? I do. That's, that's a tough one. That's a tough <laughs> yeah. one to uh, to to realize to to make happen. That's yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And because it makes my head spin, because basically you probably help people care more about humanity but it doesn't necessarily mean that wow. that's what flows out of you wow. like, yeah. like you're whoop that's good Jay. Whoop. Yeah. that yeah. is so good you're right i just yeah. i'm just a conduit yeah. <laughs> conduit is good i love that yeah. analogy. i don't i don't feel the, uh, the electricity sometimes but yeah. i do feel wow. my conduit that's cool yeah. that's for sure yeah um oh crap i lost my plate oh one person you'd like to have coffee with Oh, I think I say I'd like to have killed. <laughs> you started to <laughs> come like that. Yeah, kill what kind of show is this? Long the kill list. <laughs> coffee. Uh, coffee with a uh, dead or alive. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good one. I should. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Jesus. There you wow. go. Wow, awesome. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your most used emoji? Oh, I don't use emojis too often. No, uh, I guess it'd be a smiley face. Okay. Uh, I don't cool. like the thumbs up. It seems kind of impersonal because you end every conversation with a thumbs it up. It totally is impersonal. Because as soon as you put a thumbs up on a, on a text exchange, it's like, well, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And even if you don't say I'm done, it's like you're conveying. So I don't like using it too often. But man, I'll I use, use like it a, all the time. I'm gonna mm, have to stop. I just feel weird. Listening. I feel that thing that you're talking about. You could use the man thing. You know, people yeah. do that. I do that. Yeah, the thing, punch the, and the punch explosion. Thing. You could do that. Sometimes I'll just do like a, a like a, a winky. Kind of yeah. facey thing. 
the thumbs up is like, have you been in a conversation with the people and they go, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes. about? Like, and you're just like, oh, like. And me, this is how totally I look at dismiss- my thumbs up. Like, like, yeah, you're gangster yeah, thumb yeah, up. Like, yeah, you're like, you the man. Yeah. So I guess I'm gonna have but to stop. But see, using but that. that's the impersonalness. Yeah, definitely don't stop it. But, yeah. Yeah. but, uh, but I'm glad that you covered that with Fernando for me. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. This this one, um, only because you have a lot of writing and a lot of things that, when you're long gone, are they're gonna still be around, right? I hope. Yes, they yeah. will be now. Legacy. If yeah, legacy, legacy. definitely. If we were taking all that with you when you leave this earth, right? And you could only leave three words on a piece of paper. Really? (laughs) It's like, I write a thousand all the time. This is in the moment. I got you. Yeah. And and I'm going to preface this, Junior. I'll call you Junior now because now I feel very tight to you now. (laughs) Is that uh, I could write like a thousand word column in a heartbeat today, Mm -hmm. but to write three to five, ten words. I have a hard time yeah. with my headlines. And this yeah. is what you're asking. You're asking for a headline. Ooh, yeah. hard with your headlines. You're asking for a headline of my life and what to yeah. leave in three words. You know, the first thing that came to mind, this is just a visual because yeah. I, I visualize I things. I don't think it. I just see it. I see yeah. it on this wall right now. Yeah. And it says, I love you. Come on, it's you. That's what it says. Because I have no idea. Nobody yeah. said that. And it's, we always say three little words. Yeah. And nobody has said that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter who could they be. They always say love, Jerry. Like, oh, it's very common. I literally yeah, you're got... messing them up, man. You're messing them up, Jerry. Uh, and. And, you can, and no but, one has. But that was nothing cerebral or into, nah, that, was, that was just from the heart. It. You just, it, poof, it, it just it. came out. So it. let's go I with that. It. But I have a hard it, time um, it kind of extracting. My yeah, when I was, when I was, words. that's why I prefaced with what I said. That's I'm like, tough. holy cow, this guy's yeah. got a lot of stuff out there. But yeah, mm-hmm. but you know what? That's 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 beautiful. All right, even though it was just in the moment or whatever, it's still, man, that was cool. Like it was. I really enjoyed this uh, rapid fire. Is that the last? Is that the last? The last of the I was gonna fire. ask. You know what? Yeah, that was. I really don't have anything else. I mean, I got a million things else, but yeah. I got a million things for you guys. But I'm not going to ask. It yeah, I promise yeah, yeah. you will not. See, you're right. so smart, Jerry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Will not turn it around. Seriously, yeah. thank you for not turning it into the Jay and Fernando show. It was that for two seasons. That's true. We're, we're super yeah. happy to have a phenomenal people who are sewing into the lives of the. But you're more than the region. Like I keep telling some of these people, mm-hmm. like they they they're kind of pigeonholing themselves as just in the region. Like obviously. Chris's avenue right now is the region, but he's right. got he wants to be the USA today of good yeah. great news. Yeah, yeah, he right. does. Great right. news and uh and you you've reached those realms already, Jerry, and you're not no. done. It's but yeah. but not just at all, Jay. thank you for what you do though, and don't stop. Okay. Promise? Deal. Because you use your powers for good. Even though you got the dark side, you still yeah. use all your powers for good. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Thanks, yeah. Amanda. Yeah. yeah. I, I thoroughly I'm gonna tell you right now, I really, really enjoyed this conversation. I love seeing the the works you know and the energy was great and um man thank you so much for just spending a few you know minutes with us and it was really great man. getting i'm on it yeah. honestly yeah. Honored. let's do it again yeah. anytime yeah, you guys definitely. want look i really didn't cool. even use my no dude mama throw this in the garbage the ipad goes in the garbage yeah. I didn't that's have the to sign of a good conversation that's exactly that's the right. sign yeah. of a good conversation and i had to keep writing stuff down i'm like oh man yeah I, because I wanted to listen to you, so yeah. I like kept just giving yeah. me. I gave my little bullet points. Yeah, little bullet points. Creative stuck. I don't even know. Creative, like, <laughs> like creative stuck. What in the? Yeah. So well, I did too. Saying? Mentally. Yeah. yeah. Origin story. I'm, in my pra- head. I'm practicing that. That was something that, uh, if you listen to you know 60 episodes ago, uh-huh. that I've really been trying to get better at. And my notes went from like literally verbatim writing everything that I was going to say right. to, to just cues. to cues yeah. or yeah like a lot a lot easier it's something Jay had been practicing for a long time and he's really gotten good at it and it's something that I want to get better at it that is so. tough to do yeah, yeah. It, it is, is. tough yeah. but the conversation just seems to be better and speaking of cues this is how this works Jerry okay. yep. I say yeah. my name is Jay Wakasey I'm Fernando Lopez Jr. and I'm Jerry Davich and this has been the Mental Edge Podcast we, we out. out we out we out we out we out we out